welcome back to Data Plays. This is episode 28 of Sky Factory 3. So last episode, we were playing around with auto openers and breeding chickens and all that blooming good stuff. Oh, struth. Now I've done some AFKing. I've done quite a bit, about six plus eight hours. Oh, I don't know, quite a little bit of AFKing. Um, as you can see, tell by my levels, bloody struth. What am I gonna do with all these levels? It's bloody nuts. So anyway, I've done some AFK, check it out. This is all the stuff open from the bag opener. Uh, we have Draconium, bloody diamond armor out the Yazoo, Mana Pearls, we've got three of the blue ones there. Oh, crikey, put that back. Oh, true. So yeah, got quite a bit of a... Uh, what the hell is this? Summoning Pendant. What does that do? I don't know what it does. It looks like it needs power though. So you look at the bar on the bottom, it's got no power. No, I've got nothing to power with, so... Anyway, I've uh, got five end portal portals. Um, yeah, bloody struth. We've got freaking a bunch of stuff in there from the auto auto bag opener, which is bloody fantastic. Oh, crikey. Check this out. Iron and freaking glowstone dust and redstone for days. Bloody brilliant. So what I have to do now is turn the auto... Because I haven't got the auto compressor back there going. So I've got to compress probably... I'll probably compress everything in this chest and just get it all compressed. Gunpowder, ah, uh, maxed out. Yep, 700 plus slots maxed out in a colossal chest. Uh, right now, it's, the rest is getting disintegrated. Um, of course, with a skeleton, freaking maxed out. I don't even know what to show you anymore. Everything's maxed out. <laughs> Everything is maxed out. The only thing really I'm not maxed out on my mob farm right now is these... Inferium things, bloody truth. Not getting too many of those. And ender pearls, obviously, blocks and blocks and blocks of them. Now, um, yeah, so that's going real well. That's bloody going real brilliant. Now, we were playing with chickens last episode as well. Again, um, I managed to get myself, if you can see him, throw that away, go away. Uh, if you can see him, I managed to get myself a steel, that's right, a steel chicken by breeding. A coal and an iron chicken. You can also get yourself a lead chicken. So from the same set of bre breeding, the same set of chickens, I managed to get myself lead and steel. So I've got a steel chicken. Now steel is quite important. It's also a bit of a pain in the bum to get early on in the game. Um, this just means now we're going to have very uh, like easy access to the heavy auto sieves. Yep, that means auto sieving for the win because it requires steel. Blocks of it. So... Which is going to save us so much hassle, you know. So much hassle to get and muck around with. But now, the steel chicken is going to be laying steel. So we can literally start looking at machines like the Auto Heavy Sieve. Which pretty much automatically sieves stuff for us. And we can look at the Auto Compressed Hammer as well. So what will actually happen is... Uh, the cobblestone will get compressed automatically, come over to this guy here, get whacked into, um, into freaking compressed, I uh, know, get whacked into gravel and then get recompressed into gr compressed gravel. Then we send it over to the heavy sieve to get thing and then that's all automatic. That's going to be completely freaking automatic. That's bloody brilliant. So there's a few things I'm looking forward to with some steel there. Um, yeah, we can skip forward and just start making steel. Uh, I think it requires quite a... No, it requires the three things, but yeah, Struth. So that's bloody brilliant. Got all that, and I'm waiting for him to grow up and lay his first egg. So maybe, just maybe, since we're going to wait for that, we'll, we can't put him in a. Yeah, I think we can't. We can't put him in a a little hatchery yet because I really, really want. See, he grows up very shortly. Actually, let's let's, let's screw it. Let's speed up the process. Feeding him seeds it speeds up the speeds up the process here. Get him adult. Mm. Come on, little guy. And I'm out of seeds, but six seconds. All right, as soon as he grows up, we'll plomp him in his own little... Well, where are you going? Pop. There we go. So, oh, crikey. 34 minutes this guy's going to take delay. But he's very important. Plomp him in there. Because we need steel. Um, yep, extract. Oh, crikey. I better put another conduit in here. We really, really need... Um, we really, really, really need this to... Can we double this chest? We'll throw out all the log stuff. Alright, we'll just throw everything in this out. Or except, the, obviously, the logs. Bloody struth. We can pop the logs in here. We go through logs all the time. So we'll pop the logs in there. Coal? No. Go away. Don't need coal. Don't need none of this. All this log 
log stuff. Go away there. There's going, and we'll keep the sand chicken. We'll do fresh. Oh, swap those over there. Double sand chicken. Okay, so hoping he starts laying steel eggs, we're going to get butt ton. Guys, got big plans for this section? Big, big plans. I'm going to probably extend it out, put a like a, a barn roof on. I've, I've got a few ideas for this section because we are going to really start getting into getting ourselves diamond chickens and stuff like that. Bloody truth, look at her there. Very, very, very soon. We might even start this episode um, at the end, because. But, but I want to do something first before we get into that. Um, close, go away, go away, bloody struth, there we go, and webs, yep, and log, there we go, alright, go get some more XP, I don't know what for, but I just like to do it anyway, thank you, <laughs> I got so much freaking XP, it's not even funny, okay, so, what I want to actually do, is, what I want to, what I, what I want to actually do, uh, is sleep actually, before we do anything, but, I want to start making the Superium Armour in the book. Yes, the almighty Book of Doom that uh, we have failed to tick anything off, really, in the past uh, quite a few episodes because we've been building mob farms and all this stuff. stuff. So the Apple, we're going to have to do. The Superium Armour, we're going to have to do because I want to fly. I definitely want to go to the Nether. That's going to be really soon. I'm hoping next couple episodes anyway. Um... This Master Fusion Crystal, I need to get all the dyes together. I can do that off cam, I'm not too worried about that. But I want to start this armor. Now, this armor is quite difficult and requires, uh, if I can get the spelling. Um, Alright. Um, I already screwed that up. There we go. No, I didn't. So, this armor here is meant to be crazy. It's set bonus grants flight, obviously. Um, so, to make this stuff requires these superium ingots. Now, superium ingots are quite expensive. They're actually um, two of these guys and a blue one. And as you can tell, blue ones come from... Orange ones come from... Green ones come from... Oh, bloody struth. So, as you can see, there's a lot of crafting involved. It's, it's more of a tedious task. And we're going to automate it. That's right, we're going to freaking automate the task of making the red ones. So, we want the red ones. Um, the charms here, we're going to need milk and a blank charm. Superior block? Oh, it's true. See, we're going to need the blues, we're going to need the reds. The two top tiers, it looks like, and here's the nether stars that we needed. Um, the two top tiers, the blue and the red, it looks like it needs to be needed. Now, I have six red, which is quite dear. Look, six of the red, which is nuts, there. But I really want to automate the system. So, all we need to do is set up a crafter, and I, I know that this pack has a good old crafter, crafter I used to use. This guy here, the mechanical crafter from Extra Utilities too. Now, because back at uh, all the mods, this guy here does not need power, does not even need pipage. Not even kidding. You put two of these together, and they will form a chain link, no problem. So, and it's really dirt cheap to, look at this, it's dirt cheap to make too. Freaking dirt! Don't know where we're gonna put it. Don't know how we're gonna hook it up yet, but we'll do, we'll do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna have. To, oh, Struth! The bloody chest of dirt's full. Bloody Struth! Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some redstone dust because we barely got any, and I'll grab some iron at one here. We'll take two stacks of iron, two stacks of redstone dust. Oh, I love having access to this farm. Has just been nothing but a godsend. Yeah, it's made me late to the game, but hey, I don't care. I'm having a blast, you know. I know that we're meant to be following the book and doing every single thing, but going off on little missions to upgrade stuff and build stuff, I don't care. That is bloody fun. It's bloody awesome fun. Um, Okay, so the first things first, we need to make a bunch of, uh, obviously, droppers. <laughs> uh, do we have any cobblestone, like, nearby, or do we have to decompress some? Okay, it looks like we have to decompress some. That's not a problem. Not a problem. There we go. Because we got freaking oodles of it. Alright, we can decompress that and we just make ourselves. We'll get, we need a few of these, so. Oh, 64? No. We don't need 64. Let's just do. We'll do 20 because we're probably going to need them in the future. There we go. We have literally got 20 of those bad boys. Now we just need these guys, which we have. Where are ya? Bloody struth. I was going to say, we have a metric butt-ton of wood in here. We'll put some of these cobblestone back. 
make it, break it. We don't need that many, so... Why am I doing a chest, you bloody nincompoop? There, 16 will do fine. Alright, now, this last little bit here. We just need an ender shard. So all we need is a chisel to break apart, by the look of it, that guy. So we need a glass cutter. A really, a stick? Are you, are you kidding? You, you're gonna, like, hold me up for a stick. Really? And there's no bloody sticks in here? Whatever. There we go. Stick. Alright. Now, we have all the stuff we need to do what we need to do. We just gotta get ender pearls, break the ender pearls back up. Bloody struth. Alright, you. Come with me. Bloody struth. I need four of them's fine. And oh, we'll get a bit more. We'll get a stack of those. And, uh, crikey. Get rid of the sticks. Alright, now we can craft these bad boys. Uh, right here. Um, there we go. Boom, boom, there we go. And I think we can just keep doing that if you really want to. Oh, they don't stack any more than that. Struth. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a pain in the bum, but we should be able to craft together. There we go. Boom! Oh, hell yeah! Achievement! High tech tree! Oh, you got to start from somewhere, eh? And eight of those together. Bob's your bloody uncle. Fantastic. What are you looking at, Enderman? I'm trying to get this back. Can I put away the gold? And there we go. I don't need that for now. All right, so these guys are quite relatively simple to use. Boom. Yep, see? Relatively simple to use. Now, we need to make ourselves... Can we craft ourselves some more of these seeds? Where are they? There, the crystals. Well, we need some of those bad boys. Because we can't... Well, I'm hoping... So, eventually, when we get the unlimited use one, eventually... So, we're just going to need some green, some seeds, and some diamonds. Ah, nuts. Okay. Well, that sounds relatively... That... Uh, well, we'll put that in there. Diamonds. And that was it. The green stuff. Do we have any green stuff in here? Alright, we'll pop away a stack of redstone. And some of those. Alright, we'll go get some green stuff real quick. We got oodles, oodles of it compressed. Grab you. Bloody crafting. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm almost done, guys. I promise, I promise. I know, I know, I know. You should skip the crafting bit. I... I like to show some of the crafting bit, only because um, I don't like when people are like, where did you get that from? And some people are following at home. You've got to realise that some people are following on literally par. Like, oh, they don't stack? <sighs> oh, I don't know what I just threw away. Probably something important. Nuts. Um, six iron can go. Alright, go away. Alright, what we'll do is throw some of that away, that away, that away. Droppers. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew I freaked that up somewhere. Alright. Let's go and get this installed. Shall we? So I'm going to probably install it like that there, but over here. So same principle. Uh, we used the, It was built in here. Got to be careful. Oh, no creeper. Nothing hiding amongst the woodwork here. Put this first block down. Now the first block... All right, put the crystal in here and in here. At the end slot will do fine. This only got a thousand use, so I'm not surprised this is going to wear down pretty quickly. So to use this, we create the first color. Bob's your uncle. There's the first color. All right, and that's automatic. So as soon as we throw that in there, yep, see? It starts creating the green one. And then from the green one, we literally want to go up and do the same thing. Rinse and bloody repeat. Can I have the green one real quick? Thank you. The green one in here, like so. There you go. Makes the orange one. So we need more of the orange one. Bloody struth. Um, no, we might need them. We might need one more. We need to decompress. That's right. They're compressed. Struth. I didn't think about that. You guys are probably screaming at me. All right, fine. The first one, the first crafting table, is going to be the decompressor crafting table put that in there there you go so we can throw that in there look we'll start decompressing it no problem all right second table we swap that out get rid of all that whoop put that in there oh nearly lost the green then uh no no whoops whoops and the first one's making the green 
Okay. So literally, if we throw an entire block of that stuff, it should... It doesn't require power, too. This is bloody brilliant. Now that should be... No, it's not. I thought it might be going up into here, but it's actually not. It's not going. Come on. Alright, it's not going. Maybe it needs to be next to it. Struth, that's not good. That's definitely not good if it needs to be next to it. Shift click. I'll just run pipe on it. That's fine. It's actually not even running t for me. Bloody stru- Oh, oh, that's why. I was wondering why it wasn't running. There you go. Oh, I was like, what the hell? Why isn't it, tr you know, going to thing to thing? But there you go. It's creating and that there is going to create us orange blocks. Bloody struth. I'll probably hide all this, to be honest. Because I don't want a giant pillar of doom um, racking up this. But we'll get these guys turn these green ones here turned into orange ones. So let's go and get those orange ones. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. We even put those in so it starts crafting the orange ones. Grab the orange ones. See? Look how easy this is. Bob's your bloody uncle, guys. Bob's your uncle. Throw that in there. Do the same thing, and this will create the blue ones. Oh, that's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. The amount that this is going to suck up is ridiculous. See, it's already going in there. Green's going to green, and it's making orange, and orange is going up here making blue. We've already got three blue. You've got to remember that four of these guys make one of the colors, then another four, another four, another four. Look, let's make another one. So we've already got four blue. Stack another one up there. Put another one. And what we'll do is make... The blue into red. And make sure there's a shard in there. There we go. And there's the red. Bob's your uncle. We're producing. To be honest, I want blue and red. So, I don't know whether to have... I don't know. We're just going to have to... When I've got enough red, I'm going to have to stop the red and get some, you know, get some blue. But now, we should really be easily able to add another interface to this guy to, you know, take the stuff out. So what we'll do, do we have another chest interface nearby? Bloody shrewd. This Then we're going to be crap, crap things automatically. Um, we've got colossal walls, core, interface. All right, we've got an interface. Let's go pop that. We can break, guys, we can break the chest here. Just don't break the core. The core is literally the items. So what we need to do is not frig that up. And I'm literally going to break probably, where would be the line? The line's actually there. I'm probably going to break the corner block here. Ah, 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 ah. Go away. Breaking the corner block. It shouldn't be the interface. There we go. Put the interface back on. Bob's your uncle. We still got those. And look, there's the, there's the interface that should allow us to connect back into the main line real easily. Like so. Where's our freaking thing? We'll tell it to extract once we hook these up. Hang on a second. So what I will do is sort of just run a line directly under this straight into the main line. So it's sort of like, yeah, it's going to make sure it, this is going to go the freaking nuts. As soon as I hook this up, it's going to go bloody nuts, guys. We've got to be careful too because... Literally, this it could destroy. We've got a trash can going, and it might literally destroy so well. Really? Go away. So what I might have to do is cycle it back in. And I know how to do that. We just need to add another um, another what's gonna call it. Alright. Here we go. We're inserting we need it we need to go down there to be honest, but there's no way to stand. Hang on. We'll go create a little platform. Out, make sure we get all this hooked up properly. What? Wait, wait. Any any nasties? No nasties. Alright, so what we'll do... We, I really need to clean up down here. Bloody struth. Okay. Alright. Okay, so it's hooked into the main line. We just need to sort of come out of here. Like so. Alright. Now... Tell it to insert, and we're, oh, we've got to put a filter on that, because it's probably going to suck in other stuff that's craftable, and when fill up the inventory, and I don't want that at all. So we'll do that in a second. Actually, we've got to do that now. We can't hook that pipe up, 
or else items are literally going to flow in like no tomorrow. So we'll go grab a couple more item filters, which I do have some laying a bloody round. Bloody struth. We'll go sleep first. Make sure it's daytime. Whoa! Ow! What the fuck? Where did it... Where, what? what where, where? Where did you... You serious? Okay, whatever. I got shot from somewhere and I can't figure out bloody where. It's truth. Unless he fell off. Oh, crikey. I need to get some food shortly. Bloody truth. Um, so we need filters. I've got two filters in here. Grab these guys. Okay. So how are we going to prevent this machine? Because as soon as this fills up with blocks, guys. Oh, it's going to fill up with too many blocks, probably. Oh, and then it's not gonna, it's gonna need to make some room. It can't extract, all right. Gotta be really careful how we do this. So first things first, remember the priority of the bin is set to minus 30. So all we have to do to override it, oh, it's already got blocks inserted, that's fine. That's fine. So what will actually happen, and this is a priority one. So if that, if extracting Z item, right, extracting that Z item, does not end up over there, the extract will actually circle back on itself, or should circle back on itself and not in the trash. We're just about to test that theory. Um, we're going to test the theory. Bloody struth. Okay, so what we need to do is get underneath. This This could suck. I could lose a bunch of this stuff, which would... Oh, struth. You, is that Bob the Builder? Bob the, Bob the Miner. Go away. You guys, Nick. Off. Oh. Aha! <laughs> oh, that was so worth it. All right. Oh, where are we? All right, we need to be under the chest, which is right here. There's the interface. All right, plonking the interface on. Uh, okay. Um, we need to put the filter on now before we plug it in. So insert filter. This filter, please. Oh, got crap on it. We'll get remove it. Set priority to one as well. Alright. So, grab a block from here. Bloody truth. Hope this works. And then put that back in there. Okay. Now, we should be able to hook that main line up. There we go. Alright, let's do this. Extract. Alright, off it goes. It should be extracting. It's not extracting. You, why are you not extracting? Why are you not extracting? What's going on with you? You should be going into there, like that. Huh. Really? Alright, fine. Why is... Oh, crikey. Yeah, as soon as I put an insert, we got a freaking thing. But it's hooked up. I don't get why it's not extracting the item straight into this bad boy unless this bad boy doesn't have a interface. Does this, does this allow pipage? Because that would be so bad. That would be super bad. Alright, alright, alright. This is not good. I've got to figure out why it's not extracting. Fine. What we'll do is do a test run real quick. Um, what we need to do... So I need to get some chests going. All right, all right. Let's just do a quick test. I'm going to make sure that these guys can actually, um, res like, like have an interface. This crafting table, anyway. Uh, where is it? There we go. A chest. That's all I need for now. Whoa. All right. What we'll do? Bloody truth. Go back down. Real quick. Figure out why it's not extracting. Could be because I'm on the corner as well. Uh, yeah, no, the block is fine. It's got insert. Just not inserting the right item. Speed upgrades always on. Alright, so what we need to do now is I'm just going to do a quick test. Breaking that block, breaking that block. And I'm going to give a chest real quick to make sure it's not my colossal chest. Tell the chest to extract. Throw it in there. Yep, well, it's draining. It's actually draining. It's draining into here just fine. And that's crafting. What the frig? Why is it... Oh, the Colossal's just being a 
what bugger? Unless it's looping on around that stuff. Okay, I think I know what's going on now. Right, break this chest. All right, break the chest. Uh, set the freaking where is it? The conduit back. Bomb, bomb. Troubleshooting. That's what we're doing. Set it to priority two. And there we go. Problem solved. It's because I set the same priority on the colossal chest as one. So what it was doing, it was far, it was finding the fastest possible route back to the colossal chest. Like since that's further away, it went back to the colossal chest. So nothing moved. So it was like a stalemate. But as soon as I set that to priority two, it's got overwrites priority one. So that means that now's got priority over that guy. So as soon as priority two gets taken up, it should circulate back into the chest. Bloody struth. Okay, what's going on? Why isn't this going up here? Oh, it is slowly. Very slowly. Bloody struth. Speed upgrades probably very, very necessary for this. Let's just wait to see what happens and make sure it comes to a stop because I really don't want to lose any of this loot that's going up in here. So we're just waiting on this to be full, which is decompressing. And that's going along nicely. Yeah, see? As soon as it takes enough, it takes it. Why does it remove the shard? Did you notice it removes the shard? It does too. It transfers the shard. How? What the freak for? Yeah, see, this one's got heaps of use less. This is not. So we might just put a couple of these bad boys in here and let the shard go nuts. So if it needs more shards, at least it can take more shards. Bloody struth. Alright, is it almost full? Yeah, she's almost full. Yeah, so it looks like we need to look up for a speed upgrade and see how bad that actually... Um, speed... Up. Alright, so I think it's this one. Or this one. Speed upgrade. Item conduit speed upgrade. No. This one? I don't blimmin know, really. What speed upgrade it was referring to. This one? Yeah, with this one. Increases the speed of operation. Max is 20 times. So really, we would need to build a bunch of these guys. Gold, iron, and weighted pressure plates. So I'll have a look into that. Alright, it's full. As you can see, it's 100% full. It shouldn't be... Yep, no, it only takes items when needed. The priorities are... Yeah, you screw with the priorities, you could be really confused no time at all. Bloody struth. I almost confused myself. But that there is now fully function, fully auto-crafting the stupid freaking supremium bloody crikey thing. We should be producing a metric butt-ton of them. We just need it to... Oh, it's got, we got four of them so far. We literally got four of them. That's it. Out of that entire stuff, entire thing that's going, we need speed upgrades. Uh, we definitely need speed upgrades. It has to be that one. Because these are from... Alright, see if we can make a couple real quick and just give that a test. I need to eat something. Um, is there anything from opening, opening the bags? Let me see. Ha! Ah, golden apple. I'll eat you. Holy crikey, look, we've even got superior apple. Tons of them. Yummy, yummy. It should, uh... Oh, I really didn't want to restore the health. Alright, what about the superior apple, then? Ooh. Oh, that's definitely going to do it. There you go. Pomp. Holy smokes. Look at that. It's still going up. Bloody struth. Whoa! Crikey. Yeah, and that's still going. We got five of them so far. All right. Whoa! Woohoo! Okay, like I was going to do. Okay, gold and. Uh, all right. So we need to. Oh crikey! Let's go put these the rest in these these chests down here, shall we? Bloody truth! Can we interfere here just by putting a few of these in there? There you guys go. That's oodles for those things to run. Okay. All right. So we need gold. Gold, 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 swimming in gold. Really? I'm not swimming in gold. There's no gold nowhere. I only had four bars left. Bloody struth. Okay. Well, that's going to be a slight situationally problem. Um, all right. Redstone. Make a few of those bad boys. 
And we need to make weighted pressure plates, which is sadly uses gold. Let's just make one of them. Really? Oh, shivers. We need to what? We need a resonator for that? I didn't even see that. Bloody struth. Okay. I need to make a resonator for that speed upgrade. Bugger. All right. We're not going to be seeing any speed upgrades for this guy anytime soon. All right. But the point is it is producing what we wanted. Right up to the red stuff. Literally the... And this guy can be crafted, I think, into... I think we need to craft it into literally... Nuggets. Like superior ingots. Which is literally t a blue... Oh, nuts. Are you kidding? Ah! Oh, to create the freaking bars. Oh, that is crazy. To create the bars, you've also got to smelt every single one of these and have two at the same bloody time. <laughs> Holy bloody dog nuts. That's crazy. So the basic bar is literally made like that. And then from the basic bar, that means we need more of these shards. That's just nuts. Yeah, that goes to that bar. Um, which apparently we have. Oh, whoops, I pressed plus and it can make... Ooh, I screwed that up, my bad. Oopsie. Go away. Uh, take that back. That was an accident. Um, do I have any red available? Hang on. Oh, blue available. Yes, I do. Stroof. That was my bad. That was my bad. All right, let's get that. No, don't you dare. Made back to red. Phew. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. So that's going to be... Oh, my God, guys. Are you kidding? Just when I think I completed one step for this superior armor, I just realized I've got another step. I have to auto make every single one. So we need to literally have it... We need to literally have it splitting up. I'm not even kidding you. That's just nuts. How's this going? It's, it's draining pretty badly. And we've got frick all. We've got eight of them to show for it. That's absolutely quite nuts. What the hell? Superior furnace? Efficiency 100%? Truth. We need to we need, we need to have a look into this furnace to see how like crazy this actual furnace is. Look at it. We could probably make some of that. Nuts. Oh, and pizza comes from here. And we've got freaking... Durability unlimited. If you want an unlimited pickaxes, um, yeah, you can come in here and you have literally unlimited pickaxes. That's just nuts. All right, all right, all right. I've got to call it. I've got to call it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching episode 20 or 28 of Sky Factory 3. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you smash those buttons, guys. Smash them real good. You know, give it a like or a dislike. It's totally up to you. Also, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you leave a comment below. Even if you don't know what to say, you can just say hi, Data. Now, um, also, um, if you're super, super, super enjoying the content, make sure you share this on your favorite social media. That's what I mean by smashing all those buttons. All right, guys. I'll catch you all later.